Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Takis. This is our Angular 19 signal series. Part of this video, we can see signal model and signal based two-way binding. First, let me tell you what is two-way binding. So two-way binding is nothing but whenever any changes happened in our UI, it will automatically reflect in our model. Similarly, any value changes in our model, it will reflect in our UI, okay? But here the thing is, if there is any value changes in our model, if you want to execute some other actions, we have to depend on ng on changes code. Okay. So since we are using this signal based two-way binding using the signal model, we can use the inbuilt functionalities of signal such as effect and computed. So now let me start the implementation with one basic example, then you will get some better idea. Okay. This is my existing UI uh, I have used for my previous videos. We can just refer this section, okay? So currently I am just having one input, okay? And here we can implement the basic two-way binding, okay? Then we can convert this into signal. Here I am just declaring one variable username, okay? So the default value I just provided empty. Next in our UI side, I am having this HTML control okay the same control only we have seen it here okay so here i am just including this two way binding syntax ng model and the very important thing is if you are using this ng model make sure we need to import the form model okay so in this import section already i have done and the next thing is we need to verify whether the value is changed or not. So what I'm going to do, let me include one h2 tag. Here we can use the interpolation. We can say right. So now if you check at the UI, there is no value. Once I typed here, see the same value reflected it here. And similarly, if I'm changing, okay, the value got changed. Same way, if I'm providing some default value, test. See, the same value, initially it's reflected in our UI. Once I change, it's varying, okay? So now my requirement is whenever the value reached more than five characters, I have to show one alert message, okay? So in this situation, I'm going to use this signal model. Let me show you. We can use the same object, okay? First, I commanded this one, right? And we can use this model. This model is belongs to our Angular slash core, right? And we have to provide the data type. So our data type is string and providing the default value, okay? Maybe if I provide test, that also fine. Okay, now we are getting one warning in our interpolation side. So the reason is since it is the signal We have to use this function. Okay, but in our two-way binding side, there is no changes We can directly use this object. So we can try now So we have the default value once it changed some values Okay, our two-way binding is working fine next as I mentioned based on the value change I have to show one alert message for doing this one we have to use the effect function okay effect also belongs to the angular signals right here I am just checking if it is crossed more than five I am just providing one alert message okay okay so initially we have a default value now i am removed everything there is no changes as of now i have entered five characters next time entering my sixth character okay it's not reflected there the reason is since it is the signal i have to use this function okay so let me try once again i entered five characters now entering the sixth one 
see it's showing the alert message okay the value center see so if I'm entering all the values, I'm getting the same alert. For the example purpose, I just added this alert. The real time scenario, we have to execute the relevant functions in this in this value change time. Okay, that's it. So the next thing is uh, we can see how to use the objects. In the first example, we just used one string variable, right? The same way we can use the object also. First, we can define the variable. Okay user object and the syntax is same model and then we have to provide the object we can create the separate uh, class interface otherwise we can directly give it here first name string string working this default value We just to provide the default value. So the next thing is we need to bind in our UI side. So what I'm going to do, let me copy the same input control and duplicating two times, right? And the first one is first name and the last name. Okay. And in this uh, two way binding time, we have to use this object right so in this object we need to use this first name so the same way for the last name because this whole object has the signal okay and finally uh, this object also we can bind here let me copy this one And it's user object. Okay. You can see now. Okay, it's saying as the object. So here we can use our JSON pipe. So it will convert our object into JSON format. So now we can change this value. Okay. See this value is reflected is here, and similarly okay so now our object also working fine so for this example we have used a string and one basic object similarly we can use any data type and also the list okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching